Hello, visionaries. I am Leonidas. This is Nucleares. Welcome back. We're playing version 2.0, patch 187. And today, we're going to go hard with chemicals. We're going to see what it looks like to run a reactor, start up a reactor with 5,000 parts per million, I think it is, ppm, parts per million, of uh, boric acid, boron, in the system. Uh, we're just going to do a regular startup and see how it goes. The reason why I'm doing this is originally I had planned to do this before the latest update. I don't know if it's patch 186, 187, but it would appear from testing that the calculation with boron and xenon, xenon has been tweaked, that it's no longer... Um, as, as, as rough, I guess, for, for lack of a better term, uh, as it used to be. So, uh, yeah, that being said, uh, this would have made more sense during that uh, testing, but it looks like, um, well, more on that later. I don't want to bore you. Let's get going. So, I'm running through my checklist now. I had to find it because it wasn't next to me. Got it. Okay, here we go. Pressurizers on. If you want to skip uh, the whole startup, just look down at the uh, YouTube timeline. It'll have the different chapters, and you can skip ahead to, uh, I think I usually call these, hang on, let me turn off that music. Normally I call these, uh, this part, the pre-start, and then startup is when I pull, actually pull the rods, and then I'll say startup complete uh, when I connect to the city. So... Uh, if you want to skip ahead to that part. Oh, I'm doing the non-chemicals startup. That's not good. Hang on. Got to drain my RCV. Uh, it's been a while. So I haven't played for a little while. And by that, I mean like four days. And the reason being because, well, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we wait for this to get to 2380. And then uh, we shut it off. The reason I haven't been playing, well, yeah, like I said, I'll show you. There's a bug that I don't like, and when it gets fixed, it will not be retroactive. So I am c kind of waiting. I don't want to do any new saves uh, until that gets fixed. And that's just, uh, I don't know, no CD on my part. But. Uh, yeah, uh, when when AO finishes, you'll you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So um, that should be good. I want to just check it before I start dosing. It should be We're aiming for 2350. How'd we do? Ah, overshot it. Dang, by kind of a lot. No, no, 1.04. Okay, not great, not terrible. Just kidding. It's actually pretty good. Um. Okay, so we flip this guy on. Let's start dosing at 50, and we're going to leave him there. We're shooting for 5,000 parts per million for our boric acid concentration. This will be interesting, to say the least. So, let's see here. Generator, pressure, yeah, did that too early. We're just to bring on. Okay, bypass set to uh, zero. MSCV to zero. There we are. And, uh, okay, now we just wait. Actually, I shouldn't wait too long. Normally my boric acid concentration is a little bit higher because I have to wait for this guy to heat up. So what I might do is just give it a second to continue dosing at triple speed, and then that's probably good. All right, let's uh, continue on now. So now we go operating mode nominal. Right there. Load our fuel. Hoping for no fireworks. And primary on to 15. This is all starting equipment as you saw. Brand new game. Haven't changed anything, upgraded anything, purchased anything. None of that. So we're doing our normal startup. Condenser pump on. Well, I guess I should actually flip the switch, hey? And we have a vacuum, we have a vacuum, so we'll turn this off. And let's go. Um, it says control rods 90. Is that what I normally do? That seems like a lot. Although the last several 
testing I've been doing has been without chemicals. And so I've kind of forgotten my, uh, my method here. Oh, look, guys, look, 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 look. Do you see it? If you've been watching my videos, you know that this is a huge quality of life change radar. We have water. I figured out what was what I was doing wrong and why it was always loading empty. Oh, that's loud in my ears. Oh yeah, that tickles the eardrums. I'm gonna have to uh, the reactor has quiet that part down. Mass, and its status has changed to reactor. Okay, so we're climbing pretty well. Means we should be getting uh, some temperature rising. Yeah, although that's pretty slow. It's lagging behind more than I thought it would. That's okay. Once it gets to 100, we'll start seeing steam. Yeah. Almost like we've done it a time or two. Um, I may. Yeah, let's go triple speed. Um, so, something else. If you've been uh, following along, for, with me for a little while. Well, I'll, I'll cut out the backstory. I have a new Discord. I created a Discord just for myself. Got rid of the paid mail. I mean, it's still there, but I'm letting people in for free to just come hang out. We can talk nucleares. We can talk books. We can talk aviation. We can talk farming simulator 2021. We can, uh, yeah, just a place to uh, come chill. And uh, in case you want to ask questions, make suggestions, whatever, you don't have enough Discord servers in your life, I will provide a link in the description. Uh, you can join, you get to select your own roles, you can meet, I don't know how to say his name, Dykenis? Let me see if I can look at his name and pronounce it again. He's one. He's a bot I made, Dianikis? I should know how to pronounce his name, right? Um, and yes, there's a whole Spartan theme, look, it, it was the it was the mid two thousands. I was reading Gates of Hell, or no Gates of Fire, I think it's called, and the book, and uh, just kind of really got into you know Leonidas, King of the Spartans, and uh, that's where the whole theme comes from. But anyway, um, it actually my character name is from a different game, an MMORPG that I just kept, just stuck with for a long time, and went with it. So that's why it is what it is. Oh, we're cooling off. Okay, so let's get more rods out of there. Let's go, what, 87 maybe? Sound good to everybody? Yep, sounds good. Um, it, the calculations look like they've been fixed for... Oh, I should request a startup. Should have done that a little bit ago. Oops. Didn't mean to double click, sorry. The... and. Where do I want to? Where do I want to leave this? So we had a problem where. Um, sorry, this is really loud in my ears. That's really loud in my ears. Let me turn that down. Okay. Um, there was a problem where it seemed like when we'd be up and running, we had to pull rods really often, and eventually we'd hit this precipice where uh, xenon poisoning was inevitable and it shouldn't have been that way and I was talking to the developer and we were trying to test it and he changed some calculations either in 186 or 187 I think it was 187 so now we don't see it as much um, so that's why this isn't as we I thought it had something to do with xenon and sure enough it looks like it did and you can go back to my patch notes video and see what I'm talking about if you want but uh, we tested different things and, and found that they were working now we're gonna go back and test and see. Well, was it the calculations or is it still that way? We've just figured out the process. But anyway, for now, uh, we're gonna keep cranking this thing up to f five thousand, which is way more than I normally have it. As you know, I normally stop at thirty-one, but today we're shooting for the moon. We'll see how far we have to pull out rods to get five thousand parts per million, and still have it running. That's the important part, right? Okay, I promised you an AO um, report. This right here. Contaminated. So there's a bug right now where by seeing any fluid of any kind in any of the storage tanks, it shows contaminated. It will charge you 106,000, oh, almost 107,000 
prestige points just to clean the tank. It's 12 hours to do it, and it doesn't even get cleaned. Yeah. Uh, the bug persists even afterwards. So, ooh, boy. Okay, so let's pull this out. Let's let's go. So, oh, I was gonna go 75, but that works too. Oh boy. That is. That is a lot. Still cooling off. A ton. Okay, we're coming back up, but not very fast. Wow, what concentration are we at? They're only at 32. And it's cooling off that quickly. That is unexpected. Okay. I don't even know if we can do 5,000. Again, this would have been different under the old calculations. There is a way to download a different version. Oh, yeah. Look, I don't even have enough steam or enough heat to get, uh, to get that out. Our... Yeah, we are like freezing out our core here. So uh, I need to bump this up because we're not gonna have enough heat to get our turbine spinning up. Oh, that's so slow, it's painful. Okay, well that's still the, yeah, look at that. Wow, okay. Holy, have we just, uh, is this dead? Reactivity is just continuing to plummet. This isn't actually reactivity, this is a temperature gauge. It's just. Yeah, we are. Uh, so, I think out of the. This isn't going to work. I mean. There's no way. Right? Well, this might be a really short video. I don't even know if I have enough steam to keep my... Yeah, nope, look, it tripped. Uh-uh. Nope. Sure don't. Okay, shut it all down. So, so far, not going well. Uh, can't be done. Yeah, well, okay. There you have it. Um, having your boron too high is not good. Zero rods. Nothing else I can do. Well, okay. There you go. We cannot get it to 5,000. Can't be done. Um, not even close. So, it was about uh, somewhere 32, 38 that we started uh, seeing the major decrease, so I, I guess that's the cutoff. This line is kind of arbitrary. I don't actually know where it is. I mean, it looks like... Th I mean, these black lines don't even really correspond to any numbers, but it's hard to tell. It, assuming this isn't just put here as like a visual thing, that's... 3100 is just always the number I've gone with. I don't know if that actually represents 3100. To me, it looks pretty close to 30 or 3000, maybe. 3050? I have no idea. I should ask the developer what uh, what that number is. But anyway, okay, there you go. Well, I guess this concludes our test because we killed it. Too much boron, not a good thing. Um, with more cores, obviously, yes, it would be fine. But, yeah, can't survive... 5,000 uh, parts per million. Can't even survive 3,200 parts per million. So, anyway, well, here's your short video. Come join the Discord. Um, I'll also put the link for the Nuclearis Discord. Um, and I am Leonidas. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again soon.